Forget about dogfights, at supersonic speeds, the battle for the skies just got a little more. Grounded. Turkey's ambitious National Combat Aircraft NM UKAAM, billed as the ultimate aerial guardian, has hit a temporary snag in its flight path. Originally pegged for its maiden voyage on December 27th, Khan is taking a strategic pause, leaving aviation enthusiasts and geopolitical analysts with bated breath and itchy trigger fingers on their refresh buttons. But before you start mourning the demise of Turkish dominance in the fighter jet game, hold your horses or, in this case, your F-16s. This postponement isn't a crash landing, it's a calculated maneuver. After all, KAAN isn't your average weekend warrior. Taking to the skies with duct-taped wings and a prayer, this beast is a technological marvel, the culmination of a decade long multi-billion dollar dream woven by Turkish Aerospace Industries TUSA. So, what went down? While the official line remains tight-lipped think Tom Cruise. In a classified briefing room, whispers suggest the delay is all about fine-tuning. Khan has already aced grueling ground tests and taxi runs, proving its metal on terra firma. Now, it's all about the big leap into the celestial arena. Think of it like a championship boxer, meticulously adjusting his gloves before the final round. This meticulousness is precisely what makes KAAN a game changer. From 2018's initial sketches to the sleek silhouette that emerged from the hangar in 2023, every bolt and rivet has been meticulously crafted. Three prototypes are slated to grace the skies by 2026, each iteration building upon the last, a testament to Turkey's unwavering commitment to this aerial masterpiece. The prize at the end of this high-altitude runway, 10 Khan Block 10 jets, ready to join the Turkish Air Force between 2028 and 2033. That's not just a squadron, that's a statement of intent. A declaration that Turkey is ready to soar among the world's aviation elite. Sure, the delay stings, but here's the thing. KAAN isn't just a fighter jet. It's a symbol of ambition, of a nation daring to reach for the clouds. And when it finally does take flight, it won't be just a plane streaking across the sky. It'll be a testament to human ingenuity, a roar of defiance that echoes across continents. So, fasten your seat belts, folks. The Turkish dream might be taking a detour, but trust me, the landing is going to be epic.